Hi, I'm Dennis. And I'm Lance. Uh, welcome to another episode of In the Lab. Uh, in our last episode, we actually got the Vertex out of the box. That was the hard part, right? Uh, so yeah. today we're going to go through the initial uh, CMC configuration. So there's a few things we got to do first. We got our keyboard or our mouse. Wait, we don't need those. Yeah, those can be chunked. Those can, you don't even need those. This is a completely uh, headless unit. We do it all up through the front panel here. So, um, so the first thing we're going to do before we power it on is actually let's put our two blades in. That way we get the proper airflow when we turn the unit on. Okay. You get that one, I'll get this one. We got the uh, M520s, right? We do. We have four M520s. Hopefully we'll have a couple of 620s to actually put into the unit in a okay. couple weeks. We've got the, uh, got the piece on the back here. Okay, so these blades go into the Vertex chassis just like they would into an M1000E chassis. No difference. I mean, they're, they're the exact same blades, so... Exact same blades, just smaller chassis. Get our little sticker there. Forgot to take mine off, sorry. It's all right. Stickers out of the way. Okay. So now that we have our blades in, what we're going to do is actually go around to the back and plug in the power and the CMC. Okay. Here. You'll get the rover. So we got four power supplies with this unit. Just gonna get all four of them here plugged in. Should get green lights on each one. Alright, we've got power. And then we'll get our CMC plugged in. You notice this Susan also has uh redundant CMC modules. All right, so now we have everything plugged in, what we'll do is we'll power on the unit itself and we'll configure the uh, initial CMC setup through the LCD here on the front. Okay. We'll remove our protective guard here. So as you can see here, uh, when we plugged the power supplies in, the unit powered up and the CMC actually came on. So it's going through its initial startup now. This will take a couple of minutes. And then once this, once this is through, we'll go through the configuration. Okay, so with the use of a little movie magic, we fast forwarded that process. It took about three minutes for the uh, initial configuration to come up. So now we're gonna walk through the setup. Uh, our in English, our language. We're going to do advanced setup, configure CMC, auto. We're going to do IV4 only. We're going to have a static configuration. And then we're going to set it to our lab network here. And you're just using the arrows up and down, left and right, to manipulate the numbers, right? Yeah, just the arrows and then select in the middle here. And that's set. Enter. Very tedious, but also very simple. And you only have to do this once, right? That's correct. Okay, now we review all of this, make sure it is correct, which it is. And then we're going to go ahead and register that. Yeah, 10. 20, 20, yep, 
figure of the eye drag. And they will increase by slot number. And we're going to start these we with... Do, we can go 60. 60. We should have picked a different range. <laughs> and we'll apply it to the servers already installed. Apply enclosure settings. And then we wait. Okay, now since uh, we have configured our initial CMC configuration, what we're going to do is actually power up the unit now and go into the GUI and actually configure our initial storage.